This video is brought to you by the EA Game Changers program. Hi guys, it's Kai here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to The Sims 4 Tiny Living Stuff. I guess this is a stuff pack. Um, I was gonna do just like a regular speed build, but the more I got into the new content with the pack, I decided that a speed build wasn't going to do justice to the new Tiny Living uh, pack and the lot type and all that kind of nonsense. So I just wanted to show you what the little new splash screen looks like. It says build your small space, maximize your mini, keep it cozy, and stay snug in style because there are some new cast items. So I am going to go ahead and load into the smallest lot that I can find and we are going to start trying to build a tiny home. As you can see, clearly I decided not to go with the smallest lot possible. The smallest lots I could find were actually these 20 by 15s in next door, but I decided I wanted to give myself a little bit more wiggle room in case I wanted to do something outside because the new type here is, so once you go into the lot type, you actually switch it to tiny home residential and you'll see that there's, you know, just kind of some new stuff. And if you go into the requirements, there are three different tiers of the tiny homes. So tier one is a micro home and that is 32 tiles. And what they mean by tiles is if you build a room, oh, wrong button. If you build a room, those count the tiles. And you can see up at the top in the middle, it is currently counting those for me. So um, rooms count as tiles and foundations count as tiles. I believe pools do not count as tiles. Uh, no, pools do not count as tiles, which is good. And technically this roof space does not count as a tile. So if you wanted to cheat the system a little bit and build like, let's say a fence around this, it, or actually even if you left it mostly open, I think if you build a fence, it becomes a room. So hold on, let's test that real quick. Aha, yeah, so that counts. Okay, so don't put a fence up top. <laughs> Just leave it hanging open. It's a little dangerous, but that's fine. Uh, but then you could actually use the space. So you could count, you could cheat the system a little bit. Um, and then let me show you the difference. Let me delete this stuff here. So those are the three levels. So you got micro home, which is 32 tiles, tiny home, which is 64 tiles, and a small home, which is 100. And then if you see this extra little button, it's a very strange symbol. It looks like four sugar cubes next to each other. It's uh, rewards by like the the lot rewards and they're sorted by the tiers. It's a very strange little button here, um, but we'll start with tier one. So if your t your home ends up being a micro home, uh, you get these extra lot perks. So lighten the load, which means that your bills are lower. Let's all get along, which means your relationship gains are doubled. Let it grow. Your plants grow twice as fast. Feeling fine all the time. So happy, inspired, and focused buffs last twice as long. You got the touch. Skills increase at double the standard rate. And cozy comforts. Relax. Everything is twice as comfortable as it is generally. Um, I think that's a strange sentence. I feel like it's to be relax. Everything is twice as comfortable as it is usually. I don't know. Generally is weird. But uh, when you move into tier two, you still get a good portion of those tight like the tier one benefits but you just it's just a couple less so you've got the touch cozy comforts lighten the load feeling fine all the time and then once you get to small home you just get light in the load and feel uh feeling fine all the time so i'm going to attempt to do a micro home i have a feeling we might end up as a tiny home but i think a micro home would be really cool that is a 32 tile house and that seems intense um so let's just get started, I guess, and see what we can come up with. Now I have some inspiration pictures that I think I want to base it off of, but I really have no idea how I want to get started here. So I know this is the front of my lot and I think I want, I don't know. Let me think about this for a second. Okay, so I actually found, I just found a picture of a tiny home that I think is is pretty cool. If I remember, I'll try and put the picture up, but if not, you're just gonna have to trust me, tr trust me, trust me that it's pretty cool. So it is a rectangle. So let me see what 32 tiles looks like. Okay, so 32, so that is 32 tiles. Oh my God, <laughs> how, how in the world? Oh my God, this is gonna be impossible. Okay, so <laughs> how do I want to do this? Because I want to do a micro home, but the the um, the picture I'm looking at has like a wall right here, 
and this section is open like that but then that leaves me only this much area to live in that's intense and like I can't go upstairs because if I go upstairs I get more tiles oh my god this is so itty bitty <gasps> how could I okay hold on so what if I okay I think I could make this work I think how do I put a roof on this hold on <laughs> um okay so the thing I was looking at kind of has a roof like this this doesn't count for tiles does it cool fantastic it would be cool if you could like make a room out of that but you can't okay so we're gonna bring that down why is the camera doing strange things like why why camera you've never been like this before see like why 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 do i need it let, i'm just gonna move this whole thing let's just move can i pick up the whole thing please let me just move it all over to here because i can't deal with the camera situation like why why is it it does this camera look strange to anyone else how it's doing that i don't like that stop bring me down a level or something i don't know okay enough getting distracted so they had like nice dark trim okay that's what i'm looking for that's what i'm looking for and then i could put some trim around here maybe again they have oh that's i don't think that's what i'm looking for nope nope that ain't it oh god no and i can't do this stuff because normally i put a floor down and then put it on oh no um hmm i don't like any of these that doesn't look good. I wanted some sort of trim, but I guess that's not going to happen. Well, the roof trim did work, actually, for whatever reason. It let me put that around it. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, and then I need some stairs, because the door is going to go somewhere in here. Just not 100% sure where yet. I think, let me look back at my inspiration picture. They had just full-on wood stairs. So I'm going to go with a wood tone. And let's plop these down like so and then i'm gonna duplicate them and move them over here because there was also stairs over there so that's nice so this is gonna be like a little hangout area that's gonna be your entry area ignore the fact that it's like kind of ugly right now okay so they have let me see wood paneling yes okay wood paneling all over the entire thing um hmm i mean it kind of honestly looks like this but i don't like that at least i don't think i like that i don't like the way it looks with those stairs maybe i have to recolor the stairs okay not 100 percent sure what happened but problem solved i guess uh okay um i just ended up changing these floors or the um the stairs to like a lighter wood because this darker underside kind of matches the wood slats and i think maybe i can find a, f a wood floor that matches that or maybe not oh the salani one that's there we go that would match right could i click this please wow that doesn't match at all I kind of hate that. Um, I mean, it's less offensive when it's like that. Okay, I guess that's fine. What does the bottom of this house look like? What is the foundation? It's on stilts, actually. Um, do I want it on stilts? That's the real question. If I do, I would do black, I would think. Because then it kind of gives it that mobile kind of feel and I feel like a lot of tiny homes are mobile if that makes sense ooh this is cute that's the new door then oh heck yeah right that, that is the new door beautiful okay we're gonna use it because that's the new door it looks a little odd that I'm not gonna keep the door placement exactly where it's at I might move it depending on how the inside goes so I do know that we need or I want a bathroom that is closed off and what is the tiniest bathroom we can make okay let's see here so let's start looking at some of the new items just show me everything but i only want to see tiny home stuff so show me all oh my god there's so much good stuff oh my god i'm so excited 
the style is just to die for. Oh my god, I, I just want to look at it all. <gasps> Ooh, and then now we've got the Murphy beds with the freaking couches. Okay, so this is, what is this one? Now you see it, now you don't. Murphy bed love seat combo. And the one next to it is just the Murphy bed. <gasps> oh my god, this one's gorgeous. Oh my god, and look at this. Oh my god, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, no, this is so good. Oh my god, oh look at this chair. Oh, this is mid mod, like you wouldn't believe, and I am into this. Look at the bar stool, look at the new sofa. <gasps> Mm, and this little accent table cute this little poof i love but your sims won't actually sit on it apparently it works kind of like an end table oh my god i know it's just gonna be a lot of me saying oh my god but it's just so cute like this is my style this is my style <laughs> okay so what is this a coffee table thank god we need more normal size coffee tables i am tired of the three by three coffee tables they are ginormous what is this why does this feel so big this is a tiny desk. It feels ginormous compared to this other stuff, but it's like normal sized. Oh, and then a cute little wall shelf. Oh my God, look at all the little things on it. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, love that. So that's a bar height table to go with the bar stools. A nice little sink, which is very similar to the Get Famous one, I think. A nice new toilet. Ooh, look at these hanging stuffs. Yes. Ooh, I love it. Look at those succulents. They're so cute. I don't plan on doing a build by overview. By the way, this is just me kind of going through stuff. <gasps> oh my god, yes. I love all this art. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wish there was more of these. Wow, those are so pretty. I don't care too much for, like, some of these. I like the more planar ones. And these leaves, man. These leaves. Those are so good. Oh, heck yeah, this mirror. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh man, look at this rug. <gasps> Ooh, that's such a pretty rug. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And we've got more shelves. This looks like more of a bathroom shelf. And this little clutter object. Heck yeah, that's so pretty. Look at the little freaking... Oh my god, everything is so cute. That's adorable. This is a, oh my God, this is adorable. No, this is amazing. Look at the texture on that. Oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. I love this very much. Oh yes, black and white. These wood tones, oh my God, I'm living for this. I didn't, ex like I knew I was gonna like this furniture, but I did not expect to like this furniture this much, to be honest, I really did not. <laughs> I was not expecting it. What else is there? Okay, so we've got lights. Hold on, we'll come in here and take a peek. Oh, I like these. Oh, these are cute. They are very similar to like the island living ones. Similar in like how the, the sizes are set up, not necessarily like their style, obviously. But I like these a lot. And then you've got the TV stand, which actually this one goes on the wall. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I like that. And then this one's very pretty. Oh, heck yeah. These nice little bookends, which by the way, as of the newest update, all of these little bookends now actually work as bookshelves. So you can actually do like reading, do reading. That's not how you phrase that. You can like read and buy books through there, which is cool. Oh, what is this? A bookcase. Heck yeah, it is. That's pretty. A dresser. And then another dresser. Oh my God, I love every single one of these items. I, like I knew I was gonna like these items, but I didn't know I was really gonna like these items. Actually, and you know what I'm surprised they don't have is a shower. Hmm, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to use our own shower, which is fine. I wanna try and use as many of these items as possible. Obviously I can't use something like this, which is literally like half of my freaking house which could be interesting actually. I could use this and make it like a living room bedroom combo. You know what? We might be able to use that. Or maybe this one, cause this one's a little big. You could use something like that. Maybe, maybe. Definitely don't want to have like a single bed. I don't think that's going to work. I think some, this solution is going to work. Cause this is like tiny, teeny, tiny, itty bitty home. Okay, so let's first of all, 
move in the toilet and move in the sink because I know I'm going to use these. And let's turn on move objects. Uh, BB dot move objects on. Heck yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to bring in this mirror. We want this. Oh, really? That's that's where you put the mirror. Okay, you're one of those. You're one of those. Goodbye, mirror. We'll come back for you. Okay, hold on. Decorations, mirror. Just remember that I need it. Tiny living. There we go. Okay. All right. Actually, I should not have sorted by that yet because I need to go to plumbing. I need to get a shower. Um, hmm. I was thinking about this one, but the vibe isn't quite there. Like, I don't think the vibe is it. It could be. Let me see if the wood tones match first. I mean, of course the wood tones wouldn't match. Why? Why would they? Do the whites even match? No, nope, there is no white. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Oh, wait. You know what we're going to use? The one from Discover University. Oh, heck yeah. That's going to be perfect for this. Do you think I could get this all to fit in here and be functional? I think I might need to put a sim on this lot to play test this. Because this is getting tight. Okay. I think as a bathroom, that's going to work. I don't think there was any new like floor or wall things. Like, uh, no, definitely not. Okay. So let me just pick a floor tile and a wall tile and call it a day. Okay. So bathroom done. I used the, uh, whatever this is called. What is this called? Shelf. No item left behind tiered shelf. I brought my mirror in. I've got the new lights. I've got tile on the walls because since this is open this would in theory be just like a wet room everything in here would be soaked after you take a shower so i was like rugs don't make really any sense having wall decorations don't really make any sense so there's that and then i actually want to put some of these lights out here and figure out how the heck <laughs> i'm gonna fit a kitchen and like a bedroom and whatnot in here so i really really want to try and use this item because i think this would be perfect because that'll give you the whole living room and bedroom situation solved. And then maybe just run some cabinets along here, like fridge, cabinets, that kind of nonsense. So get rid of this, get rid of this, because I'm going to use the wall one to save some floor space, which I think is perfect for this home. I can't change the height of this. Oh, I don't like that. Didn't let me change the height of it, which I was not a fan of. Didn't like that. And I'm going to definitely use some of this artwork. So I'm going to pull that in here. Oh, you know what I did want to put in the bathroom? I think this would be perfect in the bathroom because then you could water the plants. <laughs> that would make sense, right? So let's hang them like here and here, I guess. Those are cute, right? Okay. I know this is probably real hard to look at, but you know. Oh my God, look at all these patterns. <gasps> cute. Let's do some of the blue ones. Okay, those are cute. That's a cute little bathroom. I'm in love. All right, anything else out here? I definitely want to use the rug. Let's pull that in here. Just sit it in there for now. Can't use these. I don't know if I'll be able to use any of this stuff, but I'm going to bring it in here just in case. I really want to use this lamp if possible, but as you can see, I'm quickly running out of room. I'd love to use this table if possible. Prob's going to run out of room. Would love to use the poof. Prob's not going to happen. Um, I'm not going to be able to use any of the tables, I don't think. Do you think, do you think we could cram a table in here? No, there's no way. That's not going to work. I'll bring it in just in case, just in case. Why am I just bringing everything in here? This, not that table or chair. This one goes with that table at least. Um, I don't think the couch is going to happen. I don't know if this, I'm just, clearly I'm just bringing everything in because I have high hopes. <laughs> oh, I need a dresser though. What am I going to do without a dresser? Can't use the fat dresser. Although the fat dresser is the same size, like tile wise as that one. Not going to use it. Um, I want to use the desk, but it's... <laughs> Not gonna happen. Why am I just cramming everything in here? Okay, clearly I'm just moving it all in here <laughs> because I'm insane and I think that I can make this happen. Look, I have hopes and dreams. Don't squash them. What is this? That was a bookshelf. I don't need that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. I think they do need to access this side of this. Oh my God, it comes apart. 
Dude. Oh my god, it's modular. <gasps> Freaking brilliant. Does that mean I can change the colors of individual? Oh my god, and then I can pick it up all as one. What the heck, man? I'm just stunned by this. I really am. Okay, so... That goes to the edge of the rug. Okay. So I know that I can't put a table before the edge of the rug. Hmm. Oh, dude, I'm totally going to fit this poof in here. I'm going to make this poof happen. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to use this chair. I'm going to change all the colors on these later. Move this. I'm going to put the chair like over here so there's enough room past that they maybe they can squeak in there and i'm gonna put the poof underneath of here like how freaking genius is that i'm a i'm a i said almost said brillionaire that doesn't make any sense <laughs> what am i saying look it's friday it's been a long week i apologize <laughs> brillionaire who am i what in the world okay i don't think i can use this accent table even though it's super cute maybe i can though Maybe I'll just put it there for now. Put the books on it. I'm like dead set on using this little tiny table too. I just don't know how. Because this seems ridiculous. I don't want to have to move my table every time I want to use... Because like it would make sense to have it here, right? But like I don't want to have to move my table whenever I want to use the bed. And then same with this like lamp situation. Hmm. Okay, maybe I slide the poof over here. Put the lamp in the corner. Just slide, just slide everything over a little bit. Just make room, man. Just make room. Just make it happen. Really just cram it in here. Make it feel homey. Maybe I can fit this table over here. Am I really pushing the limits here? Am I going too far? Is this too much? Is this what too much looks like? Is this too much? <laughs> what do I do with this little light? I want this light. Okay, fine. I'll put these on that and this light on this. Because that makes sense. You know? This little table's... Oh no. I've lost my placement. This little table's adorable, but I'm really into this one. I think. Or do I like this one better? No, I'm going to stick with this table. Okay. I am dead set on getting everything in here. So no desk. Let me put in some countertops real quick to see what kind of kitchen situation we're working with. Okay, but like, actually, this is <laughs> really cute. So this is how the kitchen turned out so far. I'm not done decorating it. I decided we're not going to do a sink in the kitchen. Like, um, it's just not going to happen. I wanted to be able to use two spaces to prep, even though technically they only need one. It felt weird having a sink over here. And like, they have a sink in the bathroom. So like, it's fine, right? It's fine. Also, accent table didn't make it because I figured the dresser was more important. I recolored everything to the colors that I want. I think it's real cute. You've got this blue and orange vibe going on and I'm into it. All right, let me finish up the kitchen and then I'm going to move on to this little outside deck space. Okay, back outside. Well, not really back outside. Outside for the first time. And I'm thinking I want to move these steps down like there. Maybe. Hold on. How do I want to do this? Okay. I lied. I want to move the steps up towards the front. How about that? They do kind of look cool going all the way across, though. You know what? Screw it. We're going all the way across. And I'm going to use some of the stuff that I wasn't able to use inside. So, like, this little table guy. Real cute. Going to use that out here. And then we've got the love seat that I didn't get to use. And I do want to use the poof again. Because that would be real cute, right? Like, just kind of chilling, hanging around here, being all poof-like. But I will recolor it. I think I'm just going to do black. Keep it simple out here. And let's use the rug again. Because I think it's real pretty. But of course, we're going to recolor it again. I'm trying... Ooh, I was going to say I'm trying to keep it simple outside, but this just caught my eye. I love that color combo, so guess what? We're using it. <laughs> I'm going to use these same lights out here, though, because like I said, I'm just trying to use the same stuff or as much of this stuff as possible. Wow, that's cute. Also, what happened to my foundation? I guess I must have changed something. I don't know. Wait, that's cute. I just realized I have no windows. <laughs> wait, wait, I have no windows. <laughs> Hold on. How did I end up with no windows? Okay, hold on. I need windows. 
Where the hell am I going to put windows? I've used up every piece of wall space there is. We're going to pretend that this is mounted down here underneath the window. So we've got one window. Um... <laughs> And how can I fit another window in here? I mean, technically I can put one here, but then we lose this stuff. But that does look kind of cute. Can I put this anywhere? Guess we're not using it. Okay. Um, windows. Do I want one in the bathroom? I mean, it seems kind of odd, but you know what? I'm starting to hate everything. Wait, I hate it now. <laughs> Why do I all of a sudden hate this? Hmm. Okay. How do I love this? What makes me love this? Um, I'm really not sure. I love the inside though. I think I'm just so not used to like something so tiny. But also it looks very similar to the inspiration picture I had. So I think currently I'm kind of nailing it. I feel like there should be a post there, but there's not one in the picture. Okay, let me put some like decorations outside and see if I like it. Okay, I hate it way less now. It's feeling kind of cute. I think I just hate that the lot is so barren. So let me add some trees or something. So <laughs> that got a little out of hand. I was just gonna do some landscaping and the next thing I know I'm adding a pool. And a little fire pit area. Um, this is not how I thought this was going to end up. But you know what? I think I'm happy-ish with it. Considering it's my first like tiny build, I actually quite like the inside like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I really love the color scheme. I love how it turned out. I'm surprised everything freaking fits. I, I don't know. I really like it. And we managed to stay in the mini category which is insane like i was actually able to build something in the mini category but also the outside is like really cool like a hangout space like just because you have a tiny home doesn't mean you can't like throw parties or something like that which reminds me i actually wanted to get a grill one of like the little one the cute cute little one this one this one this one this one i wanted to get this one and i wanted to make it i wanted to make it red but actually i'm thinking blue now so let's just pop that down there because that's real cute, right? Oh, uh, what about a, um, 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 what are they called? Picnic tables? Okay, clearly I've gone completely off track and I keep getting distracted. Um, I could spend forever decorating this with like the cute little lights and everything that I like to do, but the main focus was on this house and we did it. We built a micro home and y'all, I am super, super happy with it actually. Like just the home itself, I think is absolutely adorable. I love the color scheme, love the way it turned out. I am 100% digging all of these new items just now realizing these are on the windows, but guess what? They line up with the window pane, so I don't think I care. <laughs> it's the Sims. We're going to make it happen anyway. But I think this is super cute. And I think this is, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really into the whole idea of the tiny living and the fact that I could cram all of these items into a 32 tile place and have like an outdoor area along with the inside because had I expanded this out to here I think it would have been pretty simple to get all all of the items I wanted in no problem like the kitchen would have been bigger I could have had the sink out here still could have had this adorable living room granted I don't have a ton happening with the windows it is a little strange to see right into the bathroom but you know that's the sacrifice you make when you're living in a tiny home you have to make some sacrifices sometimes people are gonna see you shower you're just gonna have to be okay with that but so far, I am thoroughly enjoying all these items. I 100% will be using these items in my builds because they are that mid-century modern style that I love and they coordinate with other packs that we have. These items coordinate with other things and I think that is amazing. Now, whether the wood tones match, really couldn't tell you. I haven't tested that out yet. Would love if they did, but I don't have high hopes for that. So we'll see how it goes when trying to coordinate this stuff with other things. But I really am enjoying these build by items and I haven't even fully played with them yet. I haven't used them. I haven't actually seen the Murphy bed that is inside of here. Don't know what it looks like. I haven't even looked at the cast items, but so far I'm thinking for a stuff pack. This is really nice. I think it is really nice. I'm enjoying it. 
Okay, but anyways guys, I'm going to leave this video here, and as always, have a life, happy time zone, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!